<laughs> um, all right, so we're definitely doing Tabata this morning. We're going to go total body um, combo of strength training and cardio. I'm in sort of picking specific. We're going to start out with some cardio, but then we'll sort of pick lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body, that kind of deal with the cardio. So you are going to need a mat uh, eventually, not right from the get-go, and you are going to need some deadlifts. If you have two pairs of deadlifts, grab a light pair um, for upper body, things like press jacks, curls, that kind of thing, and then a heavier pair um, for when we get into lower body. We're going to do some front squats, deadlifts, that kind of deal. So just expect to have sort of a combination of styles of exercises all the way throughout. And if there comes a dinosaur yipping from over there, it's because she's staring at me out the window right now. And I didn't realize I was so close to the house. That's what's happening. All right. So, boom. As always, um, if you stop being able to hear me or anything like that, come running forward and I will adjust. But for now, happy Monday and let's get rocking. All right. Plenty of space. We're just going to start with that total body warm up. Just some slow jumping jacks to start to get the blood flowing and wake everything up this morning. Looks like it might actually feel like summer this week for us, so keep it going. So just adjust this. There we go. All right. Light on the toes, arms all the way up over the head. So you're starting to wake up the shoulders, wake up the calves, everything in go mode before we jump into our first Tabata set. Five, four, three, two, and one. Into those butt kicks. Get that heart rate starting to increase, starting to breathe a little bit harder before we jump into our working sets. Again, we're going to combo some cardio and some strength training, sort of interspersed throughout so that we definitely get that heart rate pump on, but also looking to throw in some weights, a little bit of everything this morning. Get the heels all the way up. You should start to feel a stretch through the quads. Five, four, three, two, and one. Into those high kicks. Start to stretch out the hamstrings. So the butt kicks stretch the quads and wake up the legs. We're going to even everything out with the high kicks, stretching out the hamstrings, waking up the hip flexors. So definitely think about pushing yourself this morning in a few different ways. When it comes to cardio, dive right in. Full force in terms of speed and intensity. It's interspersed in there, so you won't have to feel like you have to sort of catch your breath every round. So go for it. Let's go three, two, and one. And then right into the knees to chest Woo, as I fall over. Knee in. Open up as wide as you can here and down. And again, you want to exaggerate this movement so you get the most out of that range of motion. And start to wake up the glutes here, stretch the hip flexors. Activating all of the muscles that we're going to use throughout the workout, beforehand, and down. And as always, if there's anything that feels tight this morning, when we finish up our group warm-up, and I'm working through the first set, continue to stretch it out. Let's go one more each side. Knee all the way into the chest, pull nice and tight, big open, and drop. Last one here. Nice and tight. Big open and drop. Go ahead and shake it out. Nice wide stance. Let's bring the upper body into play here. Arms out to the side. Gentle pull to start off. Wrists stay up at shoulder height. And then gradually lean into that pull a little bit further. Imagine someone sort of pulling your fingertips side to side as far as they can go. Start to feel that stretch down the side of the torso. Shoulders start to warm up here a little bit. Excellent. Let's go three. Through the center. Over for two. Last one here. Big pull. And then we're going to go right into toe touches. So square off the hip. And then right into toe touches. So that full body stretch here. Definitely want to focus on pushing your butt back behind you. 
so that you're feeling that stretch all the way up the hamstrings and into your glutes. Start to pull the chest a little bit closer to the leg, just to sort of the end of that range of motion, and then right back up to the top, keeping the body moving the whole time. Reach. Let's go one more each side. Square off the hips at the top, and one last reach. And go ahead and up to the top. We're just going to hit a little bit of inner thighs before we jump into our working set. Feet stay nice and wide. Reach for the ceiling. Push the butt back behind you and reach for the floor. Sink into that stretch and then walk the hands over to the right side. Drop the butt down into that nice deep side squat. Try to lift the chest and chin here. Yeah, nice. And you can sort of play with the direction. The foot on the left side is pointing. Point, flex, turn it towards the ground, turn it towards the side. Keep that muscle moving. And then when you're ready, straighten the right leg. Walk it over to the left side. And again, we're looking to keep the body in motion right now. No huge holds during warm-up. One more time over to the right side. Drop that butt nice and low. We are going to start with a little bit of cardio, so a little bit more time to sort of get the heart rate up and the blood pumping. But our first strength set is going to start with legs. So we want to make sure everything's nice and warmed up. Straighten those legs over to the left side. Last one here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and straighten both legs. And then walk those heels in, toes, heels, and toes. And stand up nice and tall. So now is the time if anything felt super sore or a little extra tight, keep the body moving, stretch it out here. We've got five circuits coming up. Each circuit has four exercises. We're going to do each exercise two times before moving on to the next. Okay, so get just that little bit of sort of get used to it, and then we go into work mode, and then we move on, okay? So again, challenge yourself today, knowing that you're only going to do each exercise two times, challenge yourself to dive in, whether that's weight or speed or intensity or depth of a movement, whatever it happens to be, just wake the body up this morning, okay? So we're going to start cardio mode. We're going to start with jumping jacks. Nothing too crazy, but we are going to take it a little bit higher speed than our warm-up, okay? And all four of these exercises come from the jumping jack position. Have your lighter weights nearby, because our last round of jumping jacks are going to be press jacks, okay? So we're going to add in a little bit of weight. All right. So... We're just going to start with regular jumping jacks, faster than our warm-up, but again, full range of motion here. That's what we're looking for. Two and one. Let's go. And we're going for a little bit more speed than we had during that warm-up, right? A little bit more rapid fire, staying light on the toes, arms all the way up over the head. Our goal this round is really just to get the heart rate kicking. Three, two, one. And one, shake it out. Keep the body moving. You don't have to do butt kicks. You don't have to do high knees, but just keep the body moving here. Keep the heart rate working. It's way up. Two and one. Let's go. Brief work intervals, even briefer rest intervals. Arms all the way up. Again, heels up off the ground. Get those calves involved. We've got five seconds to go, and we'll switch up the jumping jack variety, two and one. There it is. Shake it out. We're going to switch to cross jacks, so the arms come in front of the body. Don't worry if the in and out of the feet doesn't match mine. Do what feels comfortable to you. Let's go. You should start to feel the heart rate working its way up. Breathing rate's going up. A little bit harder to hold a conversation at this point. That's what we're looking for this round. Three, two, and one. Shake it off again. Keep the body moving. One more round of those cross jacks. Then we're going to combo set. We're going to go regular to crisscross. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Yep. And again, we're focusing on keeping those heels up off the ground. This is where we work in the calves. Keep pushing it. Yep. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. There it is. Shake everything out. Now we're going to combo. You're going to go up, cross, up, 
across for two rounds in three, two, and one. Up, cross, up, and cross, and again. Don't worry if you feel like you're just sort of flailing here. We're not matching the in and out of the feet. You just want to be moving. Everybody should be breathing a little bit harder. Three, two, and one. Shake it out one more round. You should be feeling the calves now too. You want to be up on those toes, right? Four, three, deep breath in, two, and one. Let's go. And keep that speed up. We're looking for that cardio kick before we get into our first strength training round. When this timer goes off, grab those light dumbbells. Four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells in hand, just enough time here. Now we're going press jack. Try to keep your speed up here, even with the added weight. Two, and one, let's go. Yeah, awesome. Again, don't worry if you're pushing when the feet are out. Whatever feels comfortable, just keep the body moving. Three, two, and one. Whew, there's that added kick. One more round, and then our circuit one is done. Dumbbells up. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the body as you come down. Yes. Push all the way up through the ceiling. Ten seconds. Come on. Excellent. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. Wait to the side and grab some water. We're going to take a quick break. But I do want to get started on our next circuit before... The breathing rain, heart rate come down. Alright, you should be feeling like your whole body is awake right now. Breathing a little bit harder, heart rate's up a little bit. We're going to use that and push in to circuit two. We're going straight legs here, no cardio, so we do want to sort of take advantage of the heart rate being up. I want you to grab your heavier weights for this round, okay? Lower body weights. We're going to start with a front squat. So right back into that position with the dumbbells resting on the shoulders, squat, and up. 10 seconds. All right. Again, we're pushing forward here, even though we're still breathing hard. We'll take a little bit longer break next time through. Dumbbells up. Drop the butt down into that squat and push right up. Keep the lower back really nice and straight here. And again, even though we're not doing cardio, I want you to keep moving during those rest periods, okay? Use that high heart rate and breathing rate. Boom. There it is. Take a quick break. One more round of front lunges. All lower body for this round, okay? So you're going to feel those legs. Dumbbells up. Here we go. Yep. And you can rest the back end of the dumbbell on the knee part of the shoulder there. So you're not holding those up the whole time. All the way through it. Four, three, two, and one. All right. This time, dumbbell just off to the side. We're going to go into those runner's lunges. You guys know this one. Start on the right side. You're going to squat back, touch the knee, do the Achilles, and right back up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. And the lower that you can get with that knee tap, the deeper you're going to bend that front leg, and the more work you're going to get out of the quad, hamstrings, and glutes. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Same side. We're going to hit that right side pretty hard, and then we'll switch over to the left. Just trying to find some even ground over here. Here we go. Two and one. Let's go. Top and up. Keep the shoulders down and back. You should still be reaping the benefits right now of that first cardio round. Heart rates come down a little bit, but still, the muscles feel ready to go. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Shake the right leg out. We're going to switch sides over to the left side. Take a couple seconds to sort of find your balance. Two and one. Let's go. 
and back up. And again, the lower that you can go, tapping that knee to the back of the calf there, the more you're gonna get out of that squat, right? So it becomes real training for a single leg squat, which is nice to balance those muscles too, and one up to the top. You recognize moving everything to one leg. You're forced to use that glute, forced to use that quad, forced to keep everything stable. Two and one, let's go. You have to pay attention equally to both sides here. Should be starting to feel that quad and feel the glute all the way through. We're gonna pick up the dumbbells when this timer goes off. Three, two, one. Shake it out and grab the dumbbells. We're going in for a deadlift here, okay? So slight bend in the knees, looking to hit the hamstrings big time. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes and pull up tight. I want you to keep a nice straight back. As you lower into the deadlift, I want you to keep that core nice and strong. Squeeze the glutes perfectly and back up to that standing position. Three, two, and one. Shake the legs off. One more leg exercise, then we'll take a real break before hopping into our third round. Three, shoulders down and back. Here we go. And again, you're really just looking to get the body to that parallel to the floor position. That slight pull in the hamstrings, and then that conscious effort to sort of tighten the lower back, tighten the glutes, and draw the hips forward again. Three, two, and one up to the top. Dumbbells two at the side. We're going to take an actual real break here to let the legs sort of come down. And we're going to dive into upper body next. So if you have two sets of weights, I would say, let's see, what are we going to need here? You're probably just going to need the lighter pair here, okay? So that like moderate, we're going bicep curls, overhead extensions, reverse flies. Pick a weight that works for you. And remember, it's just 20 seconds. So if you have to slow it down and get fewer reps in, that's fine too. All right. So this is our last circuit on our feet. Um, and it's going to be full upper body. So think about hitting those arms, tricep shoulders, whole nine yards. Okay, so again, weights to the side. We're just going to start with a curl to press and then bring it right back in. All right, so grab moderately heavy to light weights. Have that backwards. Here we go. Ten times. So we're going to start with the palms facing forward. Nice straight back. Three, two, three and one curl it up, all the way up into that press, and right back down. And check your body right from the get-go. If you feel like on the press you're sort of doing one of these, tuck everything back in, think about that hollow body hold, and use the core to support that lift. Three, two, yeah, nicely done. And bring it in, take a quick break here. One more round of those curls to presses, then we're gonna switch muscle groups. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Think about the biceps. Squeeze. Push all the way up through the ceiling. Lock it out and bring it in. Yep. Awesome. And you should be going at a pace that's getting reps in without sort of pushing your upper body around. No movement there. Five. Four. Yes. Three. Nice. Strong curl. Excellent. Heck yeah. Nicely done. Definitely some weight being thrown around there. It looks really good. All right. We're switching gears. Reverse fly into a kickback. So... Bend at the hips. You're going to open up into that fly. Straight arm kickback. Yep. Fly. And then straight arm kickback. Yes. Awesome. So we're hitting back, triceps, and shoulders in that order. All the way through it here. Three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Shake everything out. We still want to keep the body moving here. One more round of those reverse flies to kick back. Bend at the hips. Here we go. Open and kick. Keep that butt pushed back behind you so that you can keep the chest nice and low. You're going to feel the lower back here as well. And we're moving all the way through the timer. Don't give up. Three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Hold on to those dumbbells. We're going 90 degree bend in the arm. Raise. So we're going boom. 
camera curl. So, palms in. Everybody at 90. Raise. In. And finish the top of the hammer curl. Just to 90. Yeah. There's that hold. And that shoulder raise. And if you're feeling like it's heavy, keep pushing. Because we're already at 3, 2, and 1. There we go. Take that little break. Nicely done. This, you can feel the shoulders and biceps the whole time. No break. One more time. Find 90. Two and one. Let's go. Open. And hammer. Yes. Yep. Open. And then hammer. Squeeze the biceps right there. Perfect. All right. Under 10. And then we're back to triceps in three, two, and one. Bring it in. All right, we're going overhead tricep extension. So your choice here, two dumbbells or one, depending on how heavy the weight is. You're going to want to lock it in, bend, and push. If you're using two dumbbells, let them rest against each other the whole time as if you're just holding a single. Yeah, nice. And then extend the elbows all the way up. Yep, towards the ceiling. Lock it out. Excellent. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. One last rest period of this upper body round. One more round of extensions all the way through it here. Here we go. Lock it in. Tuck that tailbone. And let's go. Remember that core. Draw the whole body into play and you get a stronger movement from start to finish. Let those triceps kick. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in and down. We're going to take a break here to grab some water. Grab a towel if you have it or if you need it. And or if you need it. Um, and then also set yourself up with a mat. We're switching gears down to the ground. Preferably with no spiders involved. All right, so mat on the ground. You are not going to need weight for the rest of this workout. So you can go ahead and push those to the side. Unnecessary for our last two circuits. We are going to hit upper body, and then we're gonna hit a little bit of core, okay? Those are our two final circuits. Let me grab a little water. All right. I'm just going to tilt this down so it's a little bit easier to see that mat seems a little far away. All right. Here is what we are looking at. We're going to start with upper body. Again, four exercises. This is definitely going to test the upper body strength here, especially coming off of circuit three. We're going to start with a push-up to shoulder tap. We're going to bring cardio back in with some mountain climbers. We're going to go back into that full-on chest to the floor, Superman, and then push up again. So almost two full rounds of push ups. And then we'll finish with some plank jacks. Okay? So bringing back in cardio and definitely focusing on strength training as well. So push through here. Remember, 20 seconds. That's all you got to get through. You can take a little bit of a break. Okay? So start on the mat in that high plank, ready for some push ups. We're going push-ups to shoulder tap, all right? So keep a pace that you can get some reps in, but don't break form. Here we go. Chest down. Push all the way up. One and two. You want to keep your feet directly out from the hips. If you need to drop to the knees to keep form, that's just fine. Just keep the body moving. Three. Two. And one. Knees down. One more round of push-ups to shoulder taps, all right? Nice straight form on that push-up. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Again, you want to keep the butt down in plank form here. And then we'll give the chest a little bit of a break on the next exercise. And just one through ten. Push it. Come on. You got this. Boom, there's that time. The knees down for a quick break. You know what's coming next. We're going to draw in a little bit of cardio with some mountain climbers. High speed right from the get-go. Here we go. Drawing those knees into the body. Keeping the toes moving at a fast pace. Off the ground behind you. 
But again, keeping that nice play form. But stays low. Four, three, two, and one. Quick break. One more round of those mountain climbers. I want you to go fastest speed that you've got. Get that heart rate going again. Three, two, and one. Let's go. This is rapid fire speed. The kind of speed that you really can only hold on to for 20 second intervals. That's where we're at. Get that cardio kick in. Push, push, push. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go. We're back into that push-up idea. You're going to go all the way to the mat, lift up into Superman, and then press it back up. Here we go. High plank. So, chest to the mat. Reach, lift, and press back up. As soon as you hit the top of that push-up, you're already lowering back towards the mat. Get those reps in. Four, three, two, and one. Quick break. One more round, and then we're back into cardio mode to make the most of it. Three, two, and one. Chest to the ground. Reach, squeeze, and back down. Keep the body working here. You should feel the heart rate pumping a little bit faster. Just because, no pause. Let's go, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, sit it back, 10 second rest. We're going into plank jack mode. So once again, deep dive into that high intensity right from the get go, two, and one, let's go. Keep the butt low. This is our last round of cardio, so use it to your advantage. Body's getting tired, but you really want that heart rate kicking. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees hit the ground one more time. We've got plank jacks. We'll take a break, and we're going to finish up with just pure ab focus. Here we go. Two, and one. Let's go. Break back into that high speed, high intensity. Total body cardio right here. Come on, push it. Keep that butt low. Keep the body moving. We're going here for three, two, and one. Knees hit the ground. Go ahead and sit it back. Grab some water, you guys. Nice push through that last little bit of cardio. And this is it. Grab a sip of water. Just a little hot here. All right, so this is what we're looking at. I'm going to flip this around so I'm not where my dirty feet were. All right. Boom, you can see me there, right? Okay, so switching gears. Like I said, that was our last round of cardio, so we're going to dive in to the last working set here while the heart rate is still up. We're going full speed ahead for abs, so we're going to start on the mat with lying leg raises. Two rounds, we're going to go into bicycle crunches, we're going to go into reverse crunches, and then we're going to go into toe touches. So the goal is to hit every muscle in the ab group, okay? So again, down on the mat while you're still breathing hard, let's take advantage of this right from the get-go. Here we go. So, you're going to start on your back, in that L position, so legs right up over the head, or over the hips rather. Lower back gently presses into the mat. Two and one. Let's go. Heels down. And then pull right back up to the top. You can take this round as slow as you want to, as long as you are consciously moving your body from the core. Four, three, two, and one. Knees in for a quick break. We have one more round of those lying leg raises. Here we go. Legs up. Keep the legs as straight as possible. Two and one. Let's go. Heels all the way down to within an inch of the ground and right back up. Lower back stays gently pressed to the mat for another 10 seconds. Then we will switch exercise and hit those obliques. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Rock it up onto the sit bones. It's easier to start this from a seated position. Bicycle back and forth. Two and one. Here we go. 
You want to keep that nice V, that nice openness. This is a high bicycle crunch. We're looking to hit those four abs three, four, three, two, and one. Sit it up nice and tall. We have one more. I got to tell you, those are really hard on a ground that's not even at all. Here we go. One more set of bicycles in two and one. Let's go. And again, we're going to get some high bicycle crunches here. Keep the body moving. You're tired. Muscles are spent. So these final pushes mean a lot. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, halfway through. We're almost there. On your backs, we're getting ready for some reverse crunches. So bent knees, knees up above the hips, and you're just going to push the hips right up towards the ceiling. Boom, and right back down. It's super subtle. You want a couple, couple inches up, and then right back down. The point is controlling the movement with your abs. You're going to feel sort of up towards the rib cage, mid to upper abs here. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. Take a quick break. We have one more round of reverse crunches. All right. In position to get rolling. Two, and one. Let's go. The knees shouldn't come too far back from the hips. You want to think about pushing the hips and knees right up towards the ceiling and right back down. All the way in it here. Come on. No pauses until that timer goes off. Three, two, and one. Heels down. Got one minute of work to go. You're going to be back in that L position. All you're doing is reaching up for those toes. In two, and one. Let's go. Roll it up and right back down. So what we're doing is transferring the bulk of the work sort of down the abs, down the body, to the lower portion of the abs. Everything's hitting right now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees in. You guys, 20 seconds to go, and we are done with Tabata Monday. Heels up. Get it ready. Two, and one. Let's go. Body's in constant motion here. Reaching up to the toes, consciously, slowly rolling the shoulders back down towards the mat. Just enough time to feel the burn before we're done. In four, three, two, and one. Draw the knees in to the chest. Hug them in nice and tight. I'm going to hit pause. Nicely, nicely done. There is no muscle group left behind on that workout. Knees are in towards the chest. Hug them in. Slow that breathing down. Deep breaths in. And long, slow exhales. Go ahead and rock and roll back and forth across the spine really gently here. Just looking to sort of stretch the muscles that run along the spine. Give them a little massage. Go ahead and come to a stop. Reach the legs out in front of you. Arms all the way up over the head. And just pull through the fingers, pull through the toes, elongating the body. Just sort of imagine those muscles stretching back out. And relax. From that position, your right leg stays straight. And you're just going to draw it up into that L. Place your fingers gently behind the leg. And just gently pull the upper part of the leg towards your body. Stretch through the hamstring and stretch through the glutes. You want to keep your hips flat to the mat here. So you're truly getting that full arm stretch without any twist to the muscle. Again, I want you to focus on your breathing rate. Slowing. Slowing the breath down. Slowing the heart rate. Go ahead and release the right leg. And you're going to draw the left leg up into the same stretch. Just a gentle pressure. Drawing the leg in towards the body. Slowing everything down here. Keep that stretch moving. I feel like we always stretch during this song. All right, boom, right back down to the mat. We're going to switch back over to the right side. This time, bend the knee, draw the knee in towards the chest, and the pressure comes to the front side of the shin. Again, keep your hips on the ground. 
and you're really looking to sort of just feel this in the hip flexor, stretch through the glute. By this time, you should feel your body sort of coming back towards normal, probably still sweating, but you've already forgotten about the plank jacks. Straighten that right leg, draw the left leg in towards the body. Gentle pressure, shouldn't hurt. You just kind of want to open up that range of motion now that your muscles are nice and warm and loose. This is where those static holds come in to play. All right, go ahead and straighten that up. And up onto the sit bones. Keep the legs straight out in front. Let's hit the hamstrings and lower back here. You're going to take a deep breath in and reach for the sky. And then reach for those toes, thinking about lengthening that spine. So you're not just folding in half. You're creating space, creating length. This is a great exercise to turn your focus to your breathing rate. Those deep breaths in can fill the torso, fill the belly with air. And then as you exhale, consciously move the body lower into the stretch. When you take that deep breath in, you sort of come up out of it a little bit. And again, exhale and deeper into that stretch. One more deep breath in. Exhale and sink for four, three, two, and one. Gently roll those shoulders up to the ceiling. Sit however is comfor comfortable excuse me, to you, and let's just hit those shoulders and lats real quick. The right arm comes across the body. Hug it in there, and you should feel that stretch start on the right side, the sort of back side of the shoulder, across the shoulder, and down into the tricep. Nice and gentle. Hug in. Sit up nice and tall here. Three, two, and one, go ahead and switch sides. The left arm comes across the body. Gentle pressure. Exaggerating that stretch just a little bit here. Hugging in nice and tight. Whole body should feel that burn right now. A little bit of shake. Three, two, and one. Release. Shake everything out. And that is your Tabata workout. No better way to start Monday, man. A good sweat. I didn't even get a bug bite, so that's a plus two, plus for everybody. Nice job, you guys. Kicking butt.